New female humanoid robot that can dance like a human. This is shocking. A female humanoid robot singing and dancing with a troupe of human performance was recently demonstrated by Japanese roboticists. The video of the amusing and surprisingly realistic routine went viral. Curious to know more? Well, you are at the right place. Hello everyone and welcome to the AI Universe, a channel where you can get all the latest updates on AI technology. Without further delay, let's start with today's video. You might be wondering, how did they pull it off? Dr. Kazuhito Yokoi, the leader of the Humanoid Research Group at Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, or AIST, was inquired about this latest performance. The secret to the dance routine, according to Dr. Yokoi, is software, not hardware. Of course, the hardware is important. The AIST Humanoids Group is regarded as one of the best places in the world for robot design. HRP2 humanoids are widely used in scientific studies. Even more impressive are the group's latest humanoids, the HRP4 and a female variant, the HRP4C, which is the robot in the dance demo. However, the most recent advancement is a new software that allows users to program the robot's movements. The program is similar to those commonly used in computer-generated character animation. You simply click and drag the legs, arms, head or torso to the desired position. The software generates the trajectories and low-level control to move the robot after you create a sequence of key poses. So, you can create complex whole-body motion trajectories by editing a small number of key poses. The software was developed at AIST for creating movement sequences. The robot's ability to transition from one pose to the next is verified by the software. If one of the joint's angular velocity or range exceeds the maximum values, the software adjusts the pose to make it possible to execute. It's amazing, isn't it? The robot's stability is also monitored by the software. It checks that the waist trajectory won't cause instabilities, and that the foot trajectories will result in enough contact with the floor when it generates a trajectory between two key poses. If a pose is unsafe, the software searches for a similar one that will keep the robot balanced. The user can preview the resulting motion on the 3D simulator after creating a sequence, or upload the code to the HRP4C and watch it dance. One of their goals in developing the software, according to Dr. Yokoi, is to make the creation of robot motion routines as simple as possible for the non-roboticists. We want other people to be able to create robot motions, he adds. This includes CG creators, choreographers, and anyone else. You must be thinking, what inspired them to do this demonstration? Well, Kazuhito Yokoi had the following view. For the year's Digital Content Expo in Tokyo, we wanted to prepare a demonstration, and one of our colleagues, Dr. Ishikawa from the University of Tokyo, suggested this type of event. We used the robot as an actress at last year's expo. We didn't have the software to make complex motions, so we were restricted to arm and face movements. It was an entertaining presentation. However, this time we wanted to try something new, and one of our ideas was to put on a dance performance. Sam, a well-known Japanese dancer and choreographer, was one of the key collaborators. Our dance routine was created by him. His dance school is made up of human dancers. Schooling a robot isn't easy, so you must be wondering how long did it take to complete this task? The software programming is relatively quick. Still, the programmers did several rehearsals because this was a complicated performance. After Sam created the dance and transferred it to the robot, they observed the robot and requested that the choreography be tweaked. This was expected to happen because the abilities of a human and a humanoid are obviously different. The joints angle and speed, for example, have maximum values. As a result, it's difficult to replicate the dance exactly, but they did their best. They then transferred Sam's changes to the robot and rehearsed again. Human dancers were also brought in at some point, so it took them about a month to get to the final performance. The software seems really useful, so is it possible to use it to create other types of movements? such as tasks to assist someone in their home? The question was answered by Kazuhito Yokoi in the following manner. You're right, that is our ambition. To do so, we'll need more capabilities, such as the ability to recognize people and objects in the home. That isn't a feature of this program. This software, on the other hand, allows you to program any type of movement. We also want more people to try their hand at programming the robot. That is now only possible for researchers. But in our opinion, this isn't enough. We want other people to be able to make robot motions, such as CG artists, choreographers, and anyone else. And perhaps this will lead to robotics applications not just in entertainment, but also in industry and at home. Consider the iPhone. Many people want an iPhone because it comes with a plethora of useful software. They weren't all created by Apple. Some were created by others, including some small developers. 
and they were all successful. So the iPhone is a platform in the same way that video game consoles and computers are. And we want to follow this business model. If you are interested in creating a similar robot, then you must be wondering when will the software be available to researchers and others? The developers just finished the software development and have yet to deliver it to anyone. They haven't decided on the type of license they will use yet, but they are hoping to make it available by the end of March. Do you want to build humanoid robots to assist other robotics researchers? Or do you want to create robots that will one day be used in people's homes and factories? This is another important question that comes to mind. The ultimate goal is to have humanoid robots in homes and factories. That is the long-term objective. However, the developers believe that in the meantime, we can contribute to other areas of humanoid robotics. One is hobby and toy humanoid robots, which is a large category. The second category includes research platforms, such as HRP2 or HRP4, that academics can use to create new software or theories for controlling robots and making them perform tasks naturally. The third point to consider is entertainment. That is why the dance performance was created. At a fashion show, the HRP4C was also seen wearing a wedding gown, or you could use it as a master of ceremonies. However, the ultimate goal is more than just entertainment. This new software, for example, can perform any motion. Perhaps we could use it to program the robot to assist elderly people or to engage in educational or communication activities. There are numerous options. Alongside this robotic performance, there are various other instances where we have witnessed amazing humanoid robotic dance performances. Boston Dynamics released a video of its Atlas, Spot and Handle robots, boogieing to the contours Do You Love Me as part of its latest display of engineering excellence. Boston Dynamics' humanoid robots are back with a new video, but this time the focus isn't on agility or power, but on how well they can dance. The video, which is equal parts amusing, mesmerizing, and strange, gives the impression that the machines were inspired to make a point after witnessing an engineer perform the robot and felt compelled to demonstrate that these robots have rhythm. In order to create the expertly choreographed demonstration, humans had to write the code for each sway, swivel, and squat. Two humanoid Atlas robots, a four-legged yellow robot named Spot, and a large ostrich-like robot named Handle make up the dance troupe. Each performs its own routine. The handle, which was designed for moving boxes and warehouses, bobs up and down as it rolls across the frame on two wheels. Spot, a canine-like robot with a long elbowed arm on top that can open doors, hops and twists as its front and back pairs of legs appear to work independently of one another. When the robot holds its grabbing hand still while its body jumps around behind it, it takes advantage of the opportunity to demonstrate impressive stabilization skills. All of the videos demonstrate the level of coordination and dexterity that programmers can expect from their robot servants. With its high-quality videography and editing, the most recent video is more consumer-friendly than previous. Academic demonstrations of the robot's progress. Spot can be adopted for tasks ranging from industrial inspection to entertainment, according to the company. So rocking out to music isn't out of the question for the robot's future. So that's all for today. What do you think the future holds for robots? Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section below. This brings us to the end of our video. We hope that you like this video and if you do then don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload our next video. Until next time, peace.